Hello, I'm Huddy, and um, this is the first episode of Huddy's Map Talk, although we'll probably cover more than maps. Um, seeing as I'm releasing a new dig site, PK3, I decided to give you guys a little tour of it for anybody who doesn't want to bother downloading it and playing it themselves. So what's changed since the last time is I've added more details, I've replaced more textures. Currently, as, as far as I know, the only texture left that I did not make is the sky texture, and that one will take a while to figure out, but I hope to get it eventually. There may be a leftover track 5 stuff around here or there, but um, nevertheless, here's the current state of it. Dig site. The map itself um, is it's a mix of horizontal and vertical play. It really depends on where you are. I've stuck jetpacks all around the map, um, and jump pads too, to provide EV flying and moving around. Um, the majority of the map is that middle corridor there. That's where most of the spawns are and where most of the fighting begins. There's a few lower platforms here, although mostly they just contain jetpacks to help you get back up if you fall. There's also the upper area. Uh, one moment, I forgot to start my timer. Okay. Um, some of the lights are too bright. I'm working on that still. So, this is meant to be a large um, deathmatch map. Where? On a map this large, you would assume that anybody who got the next would have complete control. Because it's very open, and most of the other weapons are rocket-based, and ro rockets don't travel very fast. So, in order to combat that, I've included a couple things. One, the next is under a triple barrier uh, lock. All those barriers have, uh, here we go, a separate, have a screen and a button. You push the button, and on the screen you can see the barrier goes down. You have to lower all three barriers if you want any access to the next. Meanwhile, any of the players who aren't good with the next and want to prevent someone from getting it, can easily go and re- and raise back up one of the barriers. For example, that one goes down, push it again, comes back up. Also, the buttons are pretty well spread out, so you have to travel the whole map in order to get them all. The last one's up way up here. And I ran out of jetpack fuel. There's other ways to get up besides jetpacks. There's a teleporter right here. And yeah, I guess that little yellow stripies the texture didn't replace. There we go. Last button. And now, you get access to the next. There's a fourth safeguard, though. If a player can't get access to one of the buttons easily, they can always click this button over here. And, oh no. Mm. Ignoring the fact that I Apparently not very good at my own map. No surprise there. Raises an entire layer of slime. Yeah, an entire layer of slime. Nothing else to say. I'm including a lot of interactive elements like elevators and bounces and 
this here is breakable glass, and there's the one piece of debris. I'll add more, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. If the frame rate seems a little low, uh, that's because I'm recording this on my not so powerful laptop, so. Here's an elevator. Drains all the way up. Um, why is this map called Dig Site? Well, because it's a dig site. This is where the um, thread faction comes and digs up their top secret minerals and stuff. What they're digging up is this stuff called Kyrite. Right there. It's got kind of a rainbowy luster. I don't know if you can see that in the video. This whole box of it right here. And what they can do is they can grind it up and mix it with other chemicals, and then they come up with electric ammo. I've included a flyer. This was meant to add more interestingness to the gameplay. And to include a vehicle that's not in a salt map. Um, just because it's a flyer doesn't mean it's overpowered. It's actually quite vulnerable. Mainly if there are more than if there's more than one person in on the deathmatch, they can attack the thing from any angle. It's got pretty low vulnerability and it's not very fast. Also, it has a very hard time attacking things above it and things below it. And the bombs don't work very good for precision shots. So, while it can get a whole ton of kills quickly, by simply going around in here and ducking under and barraging anybody who comes by, It still is quite weak. Um, I haven't added bot waypoints yet. I did it in one of the versions just to see if it worked well, and the bots do play the map pretty well. They even push some of the buttons if they run into them. So, that's okay. I do have the Minstinex hidden down near the slime, but I'm going to take it out because it's having hidden weapons isn't a very good thing. I do have this infinite circle bounce train thing. I really don't know if I should have it or not. It's the... I don't know. I put it in because it's kind of fun, but it's kind of pointless too. I don't know. You could geek somebody. Still got the max? No, I lost it. Where was I going to go? Oh yes, the fireball. I put the fireball in. A little bit back. I'll take out the mist next and keep the fireball in, because it fits the whole... All the weapons are rocket-based being better. To get there, we got to go in that glass barrier. And the easy way is to go down, around, hit this jump. That should be a bounce pad. Up here, push the button, go in the door, down around, grab the fireball, and find the button that opens this door thing. I've included a couple portal launches. They're not really that useful though, because the map is too big for them. Um, a lot of times you, you find that your time limit runs out, and I really don't know why somebody put a time limit on the portal launch. Because to make a good portal, you need time to adjust it and everything, and the shafts are really slow. So having a timed portal launch really doesn't make any sense to me. I think that should be changed. 
Or you ask, yes, kind of touching the spinny thing helps you if you were going to ask. I really don't know. And that's really all there is to show. Um, I swear your time's about up too, so I guess we'll just hop around for a little bit. This is a pretty boring first studies map talk. I'll try to make the other ones more interesting. But then, this is just a alpha version of PK3, so it doesn't even have bot waypoints and solar thorns not around at the moment, so I can't play against him. So, yep. I guess if you're interested, download it, plop in your data dirt and give it a try. And oh yeah, leave any suggestions you want. Don't worry about my feelings or making it sound nice. I want to hear what's wrong with the map so I can fix it, not what's um, yeah. Don't worry about it being constructive criticism. Just plain criticism is fine at this point. So I'm not getting any. And time's up. Hopefully every